You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with the start of round one. And a lot of the fans are excited to see what Salvador Bahia, Brazil's Jailton Almeida, can do in this particular matchup. He is ubiquitously regarded right now as one of the best grapplers in this heavyweight division. That would appear to be the path of least resistance. But as you all know, every mixed martial arts round begins on the feet. And Almeida, probably an underrated striker at this stage of his career. being landed on both sides here. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Ghana, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you, and then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Ghana is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Ghana, and you can see that as we watch him right now. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Gon's kick attempt, that one was blocked. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Passes to half. Getting the ball here. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, huge this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on Bobby Lake. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Attempting an arm bar here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. And there's the tap! Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of hit. Oh, and now a beautiful <laughs> capitalize right here. I mean, that was beautiful. The way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across, and hit that hip toss. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg submission here. Your hook looks tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to lock himself to get Oh, and you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the back, John Paper went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> Takes his back. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Beautiful body kick. Oh, 
Looking to land the right just out of range. Guard now. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Makashev's going for the sub here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Oh, the 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 that is a beautiful transition to try to get the pin. Oh, he got up. He actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. So he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that. All right, so a high-level round there. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round underway. Watch the strike, and then counters with a beautifully placed hook. Nice job by Islam Makashev. Big hook. Gets back to his feet. Looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. Oh, he smokes. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round. Lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez, well-rounded guy, but most of his pro wins have come by way of knockout. And oftentimes, it's just the experience that ends up an advantage for the underground king. He's fought Japan, Canada, Costa Rica, Russia. Yet another big opportunity in front of Eddie Alvarez tonight. Alvarez gets the early take. Well, 
Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. In the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Oliveira gets back up here. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. From the clinch here, nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now. Before he he's got to start going now. Oh, a big left hand. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Nice kick. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to pull up top. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, but not. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. You know, DC, you're usually pretty prophetic when it comes to these game plans and strategies. Are you surprised he hasn't even tried to take him down yet? Yes, it's very key for you to find me and land it to the head. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Big right hand. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming, and when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damaging. Oh, good block there. All right, so we didn't see any takedown attempts from the BJJ player in round one, and as yet, he still hasn't attempted to take this fight to the ground. Very surprising the approach by this guy. He's so good on the ground. I would have expected him to try to get it to the ground earlier in the fight. But as we go on, it's starting to become very clear that that is not the game plan tonight. He's got to start going now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. It's work. Working out Ezekiel Choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Alvarez. Uh, 
Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Posture's up now and lands. An elbow. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair? Nice positional control here. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Nice defense. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much crap. Oliveira's going for a choke. Oh, that so is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Huh. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round of which... You ready? You ready? Go Third ahead. round underway. Wobbled now. Oh, big left. Oh, elbow landed there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase him. Oh! looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your friends. No. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done. And it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. It's a nice deception there as he lands the hook. Alvarez's eye starting to swell now.
I know I can't hear him, but still trying to call him. I need a blessing. I feel like I'm stressing. No point of me resting. I feel like it's stolen. Still ain't gave up with this pressure I'm holding. They left me alone. I was watching them bowling. Day after day trying to stay out the way, but I still got to pray because I feel like I'm falling. I reach out to God trying to talk on the daily. I know I can't hear him, but still trying to call him. I need a blessing. I feel like I'm stressing. No point of me resting. I feel like it's stolen. Still ain't gave up with this pressure I'm holding. They left me alone. I was watching them bowling. Know if I spot him, I feel like I got him. Now they find him with it. I'm told sports gambling is legal here, and yeah. we got a good UFC fight. Oh, wow. Sports gambling is legal. And John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Annick knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will be a great fight. Brick City. <laughs> well, every MMA fight. Oh! A huge knockout tonight. Holy smokes. Supplements never follow them for they be moving shambolic. My side will be getting money that's socioeconomics. Heard them on every verse, there'll be several discrepancies. Have them up, it's nothing but death in your destinies. I set the template from what I've written on the piece of paper. And if I were, we won't be needed any mediator. Feeling comfy in any spot that I'm studying. They play what they did the but they know that they understood it. And when the jobs are good and shredded in the deep, we got them drowned in the undercurrent. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. So here's the two-time UFC welterweight title challenger, Steven Wonderboy Thompson. He has really taken striking to a whole new level in modern-day mixed martial arts. One of the best pure kickers and karate practitioners. Nice double leg takes out attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. What a tight arm ball. Oh, what's he doing now? He goes belly down. He turns down to try to get all of his weight on that arm. Good act. Welterweight contender, still criminally underappreciated for my money. I just feel like people don't give him the credit he deserves for just the overall mixed martial arts game and acumen. And when we talked to him about his striking this week, he said, hey, come on, man, I can grapple too. We'll see how he chooses to proceed tonight. My right, good to see Stephen Wonderboy Thompson back on the proven ground tonight and popping off. 
back to his feet. I'm not sure if I should knock his fight out here, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the table. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent out. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in hits. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head. Oh, that accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a Back to his feet. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Thompson. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Under a minute to go. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, that is gonna do it! Leon Edwards has done it! Ready to fight? Ready. Do well, it. it may not be tabbed Fight Island any longer, but it is still a major destination for the UFC. Great to be with you tonight from the Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi, where a lot of high-level fighters are set to compete. It's going to be a great night. Every time we come here to Abu Dhabi, the fights are absolutely fantastic. Let's go. Oh, nice double in. Yes. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh! All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. <laughs> Allen's right back to the full mount here. Attack an arm bar. Arm in very tight. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makhachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true 5 2 player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. He got his guard pass. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Gotta be careful here. Oh, huge Going for the arm here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. Oh, submission defense. He gets out. In that moment, it looked like the fight was over. Much better than get this arm snapped now. Oh, that's gotta be it. Come on. That is so deep. Ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, well, he might be the best volume striker in the game. Max Holloway back on the proven ground. We'll see if he can get the hands going early in this fight. And not a guy who needs much of a feeling out process. He's probably going to throw 500-plus strikes tonight unless he gets a finish. All eyes on Max Holloway, as usual, as we get this one started. There's that jab. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully perfect on that shot. So the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Down is good, and now is where things could get really interesting. Makashev's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's getting it deep. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh. Now Leather being thrown on both sides. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. He has executed to perfection tonight. It never works out perfectly, but today it seems to be going as great as it can be. I know the takedowns don't look beautiful. They don't look perfect, but it doesn't matter. He's a submission guy. All he needs to do is get you to the ground. Right. So even if it looks a little bit bad being there, he is accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's to make you grab him. Nice straight right legs. Clean with the right hook. Less than a minute to go in the round. up now and now the damage is about to start there it is now he's running him out change of the position Makashev's back in format So there's the horn. That means it's... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. And we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye. He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight with. See the crowd roll more. Entertainer, that's more. Entertainer, that cost more. I won't wait so much. We gon' make them tap out. It's a rap faded black when they pass out. See the schemes that you run in this a glass house. Put up to your front door with the mask out. Yeah. Amazon Live.
Ready to fight. Ready. All right, Islam Akashev, the UFC lightweight champion, putting the belt on the line tonight against the former King Charles Dubronx Oliveira. They met for the first time at UFC 280. That was back in 2022. And Dubronx looking for a different result here tonight. You know, John, that was the first time we saw Charles Oliveira over the course of that long run. Truck with the fight stop. But Charles Oliveira has promised us he's going back to the drawing board. He's fixed the holes in the game, and he has a different approach to Makachev. Let's see how he handles this test for the second time. Makachev is confident, though, that he gets the job. Your hook looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. And that one certainly found the target. He's got some hands, man. Right into a takedown. Oh, and there's the early takedown. Just what the doctor wanted. Exactly what he wanted to do. You saw it in his training footage. Takedowns are going to be the key. He got one early. He's on the right track. Oliveira's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. And he's out again. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Finds his range with the jab. Entries, the Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's gotta beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Back up to his feet. Look to the head there by Islam Makasha. Oliveira's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Going orthodox now. Nice single. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Great submission defense. Yep, got to be very careful there. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, he's working for the sub. He's isolating it on. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, come on. I've been tapping. That's got to be it. Defend the armbar, fight with done. He loves to fight on. All right. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on his cheek. You ready to fight? I'm just saying. He's got a big ready? mouth. <laughs> All right, round two. A hook to the head by Islam Akasha. He's got to mix things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body already. Olivera strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye is starting to shut. Makashev's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Oh, going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. He's out. Back to the feet now. Hook is there again. Well, I imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown with this. I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening. Maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect from him. Oh, 
How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there... Oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. Olivera's well, trying for a submission here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He's up. What's this defense on this play? Well, no denying that he rocks him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Islam Akasha. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues. Big, big shots landed by him now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh! Ooh, heel hook attack now, and it looks locked in. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, submission defense holds up again. It's on point. He's constantly under attack, and he's constantly back to the submission attempts, back to back. Here's the kick blocked by Islam Makasha. Well, his opponent tonight has done a good job of getting back to his feet, and just as I say that, planted on his back again. Another takedown over and over and over. Oh! Going home and trying to get the heel hook. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there, just as the horn sounded. All right, so the fight goes the distance he had all. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go round underway. Big right hand there. Guess the single collar tie now. Submission skills, good offensive wrestling. He hasn't so much as even shot for a takedown tonight. I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck in between. He's good wrestling, but he's not great wrestling. He's great once the fight hits the ground, and he is unsure of how to get it there. Swollen shot. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of... All right, quick pause in the action here. Hopefully, this won't be the end of the fight, but some serious swelling around that eye, and I'm not sure the extent to which his vision has been compromised. I don't know how much he can see right now. He seems to be trying to find the opponent but his spirit isn't broken. Well, this is a good sign. The doctor talking to the referee. And the fight will continue, at least for now. Yeah, this is a good decision. I mean, swelling can be Ready, superficial. Ready. He seems like he wants to compete. Go. Let's go. Third round underway. Let's work. Well, the book on this fighter coming in. Outstanding takedowns. Vicious ground and pound. To what extent are you surprised that he hasn't even shot for a single takedown tonight? To the point that I'm questioning his fight IQ and his ego. Because if you fight with your ego, you usually find yourself losing. Right now, he is putting himself in immense danger by not trying to get takedowns. All right, looks like that dose is tight. Oh, great submission defense. Motion it for his opponent to stand back up here. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job, though. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is. And oh! Ooh, new hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. New hook looks tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Stuff to take down, no problem. 
Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least see it close. Oh, All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. This man is landing cool. the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight, and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs, and when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight.